At last year's Kindo Indonesia International Lotto Show, Jaya's, we detailed the Wu Lincoln Pharaoh, the Sayak GM Ventures maiden product in the Republic. That one shocked the core low MPV market, Toyota Avanza, Daihatsu Xenia, Suzuki Ertiga, Honda Mobilio, with space and pricing, which was not much higher than smaller 1.2 liters low cost green car MPVs Toyota Calya and Daihatsu Sigra. Here's the Chinese car maker's second shot at the Indonesian MPV market, and the Wuling Core test takes aim at the segment above, the Toyota Innova class. Development work was done in Indonesia, where the car maker has a 700 million US dollar plant with an annual capacity of 120,000 vehicles. It was introduced late last year and the official launch happened in February. The Cortez measures 4,780 mm long and 1,816 mm wide, which makes it a useful 250 mm longer and 125 mm wider than a Confero. Its 2,750 mm wheelbase is just 30 mm longer than the smaller Wulings, which means that most of the extra length is in the rear overhangs. The Cortez is powered by a 1.8-liter engine with 129 horsepower and 174 newton-meters, paired to either a 6-speed manual gearbox or a 5-speed IAMT automated manual transmission with Eco and Sport modes. There's also the option of a 1.5-liter engine as found in the Confero, the 110 horsepower 142 Nm DVVT comes with the sole choice of a 6-speed manual. While the Confero is driven by the rear wheels, the Cortez is front-wheel drive. It's still a boxy MPV, but the Cortez looks more premium than the Confero. Like the DFSK Glory 580 SUV we showed you earlier today, this Wuling also has an Audi Q5 style rear wrap around hatch. Seems like the Q5's backside is much desired in China. The more upmarket intent is more apparent in the cabin. You would have seen the horizontal dashboard somewhere before, but it looks decent, and rather advanced even with a blackout AC panel, big color multi-info display, floating screen and electronic parking brake. That analog dash clock is rather gaudy in a car like this, though. Wuling's big 7.8-seater MPV is quite well equipped. The base 1.5S type comes with projector headlamps, a 3.5-inch mid rear blower, USB ports for all rows, ABS slash EBD and dual airbags. That's basic, but the 1.5 and 1.8C type adds on the LED daytime running lights, fog lamps, electric folding wing mirrors, raw blade wipers and a shark fin antenna to the exterior. The Type C's cabin comes with an 8-inch touchscreen entertainment system with mirror link and Bluetooth reverse camera, audio and call steering buttons, soft touch instrument panel and semi-leather seats. It's also equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system and four-point reverse sensors. The 1.8 Type-C adds on an electric parking brake, brake hold, hill hold control, brake assist and especially the range topping 1.8 type L you see here steals the show with all the above plus auto LED headlamps, LED rear, brake lights, exterior chrome trim, sunroof, luxury meter cluster with 7 inch color mid, GPS, auto AC with heater, electric front seats, leather wrapped steering, ambient lighting, side airbags, 4 in total, seat belt indicators for all seats, front parking sensors, 2 points, auto wipers, remote opening sunroof and 6 speakers. For more updates subscribe MotoGuru.